the fifth Sunday in Easter, year A. From the Gospel according to John, do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? In the name of that same Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week are preparing us for Jesus' ascension, which we're going to celebrate a week from this coming Thursday. In our Gospel reading, Jesus is trying to help his disciples start to get their heads wrapped around the idea of his unity with the Father. It's not working. Surprise, surprise. You can just see Jesus shake in his head as he tells them that if they don't get it, they can just believe in him because of the works themselves. That's where most of us are. We're kind of sloppy and vague when we speak of the Trinity because it's really rare that, like Stephen, we get to be filled with the Spirit and see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. So like our psalmist, most of us need to come about it more indirectly. We rely on the works themselves, trusting that the God in whom we have taken refuge will continue to deliver us, lead us, guide us, now and in the future as in the past. Peter's image of the nursing child returns us to our body's memory of being one with another person, a person who shared with us all that we needed to survive. And if it turns out that that memory is too dim or too damaged, we can think of stones skillfully set to work together in a wall. The point of all these images is assurance that we are God's people, shown the way to the Father, not through the action of our minds alone, but through the total commitment of body, mind, and spirit into the hands of God. Jesus has shown us this way, has himself become this way, this truth, this life. In the name of the Father, and of Jesus, his Son, and of the Holy Spirit.